start our nice hike up Cottonwood Pass and hopefully back out on New Army Pass. Well, here we are at Cottonwood Pass trailhead. Getting ready to hit the trail. Beautiful morning. Yeah. So excited. Looking forward to it. It's a new trail for us. <clears throat> yeah. Haven't been up here yet, so we uh, we've got all our packs ready. We think we got everything for just a few nights. We're starting at 9950 elevation to start. And we'll see how this goes. We're doing some training hikes. We're going to do the JMT in the end of August. So this is one of our training hikes. It's uh, early July. It's the earliest we can get up here because even as it is, it looks nice and dry, but the snow has been keeping us off the mountain because it's just been so much that to get over high passes, it was going to be like mountain climbing with ice axes and crampons and all that. And we're not really uh, into that right now. So Yeah, our plan is to hike in Cottonwood Pass and hike out over New Army Pass to Cottonwood Lakes and back to the Horseshoe Meadows, but we're hearing there's a lot of snow up on New Army Pass with a dangerous cornice and we brought our micro spikes, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we're ready to walk over some snow. We're just not ready for giant uh, embankments to turn into avalanches on us, so. Exactly. <laughs> But yeah, this is a, just a couple nights. We're gonna end up doing about what 12 miles today, yeah, and like I think 12 to 14 tomorrow, and then five or six maybe the last, the last days. So depending. it'll be a good training hike and yeah. uh, kind of do a little shake down on some of our new stuff. Um, some of our gear we updated and well, changed, but uh, yeah, we did some updates. I got a my backpack's about three pounds lighter than. Than my last Osprey. So this is that the, uh, what's this one called? We both have the same one, Exos? Yes, Exos. So yeah, it's only two pounds. And then I got this nice Z-Pax multi-pack, yeah. which is a little funny having it there, but it's also super convenient to be able to zip open, put the GoPro in there, grab snacks, it's convenient um, for me to put my snacks in too if I need to. <laughs> yeah, I can hold a lot of stuff in this thing. A uh, couple little things like that we're trying new this year. Normally we wear our, we put our bladders from our Camelbacks, two and three liter bladders, but they take up so much space and in the pack. And it makes it really hard when you need to filter water on the trail, you have to pull everything out of your pack just to get your bladder out to do it. Yeah, that and also we don't need to carry that much water since there's so much water in the Sierra Nevada. So maybe like down in the San Bernardino Mountains. But up here, we have this uh, 750 milliliter right here. And then we have a liter in the back of water. So we'll just start with that and see how that goes. Some new little things we also tried this year. We're always using hiking boots which have worked well for us, but we always get blisters. So, so far at home on our 10 to 12 mile training hikes, we've been using our trail runners, as a lot of other uh, PCTers have been talking about on the boards and stuff. But when we wear our trail runners, which we haven't got a blister yet. So no, we did bring preparation, we brought moleskin. We have some uh, sock liners with the in Gingy, so it has the individual toes and all that. But right now we're just wearing our down, our darn tough socks. They're merino wool Marino. socks. Yeah. And Danielle, let me let me see yours, Danielle. I have my Ultra Lone Peak 4.0s with some Dirty Girl Gators. <laughs> nice. That's the uh, Galaxy Edition. <laughs> yep. And yours are. Mine. I, I like my uh, Hoka 11 Speed Goat threes. They're so comfortable. And then I have the Dirty Girl um, Gators as well. These are uh, America, Americana. Americana. I don't know, America flag. <laughs> God bless America. Amen. So, yeah, those are a couple things. Well, uh, I'm gonna, my arm's getting a little tired, so we're gonna get up the trail a little further. 
and we'll uh, give you an update. But right now we haven't climbed at all. It's just been a nice, steady, steady beautiful. nice uh yeah that's it's kind of back on the trail runners besides the extremely comfortable um you get non-waterproof because a lot of people think waterproof is going to keep your feet dry and this is pretty well known too in the, in the hiking community that more and more people are kind of realizing that they might do that to a point but you get water down the sides or you just get into a water situation where it's too deep to avoid once they're wet they virtually never dry out i mean i'm not gonna say never but days so the trail runners you know you get non-waterproof if you have to get your feet wet you walk wet and within a couple hours they're going to be dried out yeah um, their force comes to work you can always take off the shoes at the water crossing, take out your insoles, put your shoes back on. And Actually, then, take off our socks and our insoles. Yeah. Go with uh, without socks. Or and insoles. then after they dry out, just put the insoles and socks back on. It's our plan. Yeah, we came so. from that direction, which is Horseshoe Meadows. So we... We're at 10,550 feet, so... Yeah, we've climbed quite a bit. About three and a half miles. Half Not miles. too far yet, but yeah. We are trying to take it easy. Um, since we didn't acclimate at all, we just uh, drove right up to what was it, 9,800 feet or something? Yeah. Like that, trailhead. Yeah. So. Popped our packs on our backs and took off. So taking it a little slow today, but it's all good. Yep. Beautiful. Signing off. We hit the pass. Which pass is that, huh? Cotton pass. Cotton. And I just saw a marmot right there, too. Nice. Right over to, towards Chicken Spring Lake. It'd be Rock Creek, PCC North. Yep. I hope it's as pretty as that it looks over there. I know we it's called Big side, Big Whitney Meadow that direction, but yeah, they look on the map. It looks like this is gonna head over a Chicken Spring Lake, place we've never seen yet, never been to before. Well, here we are at Chicken Spring Lake. It's a beautiful little lake. David doing his calisthenics. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, a couple of weeks ago, um, people were saying this lake was like froze over. So, yeah, the heat wave has done its thing. Yeah, beautiful. It's one of the nicest. Oh. It is really pretty. Beautiful, beautiful Alpine lake. Yeah, it'd be nice to camp at, but we're going to keep going further. Yeah, because we're only about from the five and a half miles from the trailhead so we're at what eleven thousand something feet i didn't look eleven thousand one seventy five yeah so <clears throat> anyway 
Yeah, it's just we're going to continue on to uh, Crabtree Meadows for the night. Yeah. I think that's about another six miles or something. Yep, sounds like it. Yep, for sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> got done eating lunch um, at this viewpoint. Um, yeah, we're just back it up. Back it up. It's gorgeous. On our way to Rock Creek. Yeah, hopefully another, I don't know, five miles or so. met up with Christine and Ali from Norway. from Norway and they're actually doing the full GMT plus meaning they start at they started at Kennedy Meadows going all the way to possibly Tahoe. Yeah that's Crazy. awesome. <laughs> that would be what about 300 miles when it's all said and done? Yeah. About 300 miles. Wow. Crazy. A lot of, lot of planning, a lot of resupply. Yeah. But Hard what an epic vacation for you guys. Yeah definitely. So we got out of this beautiful meadow and now we're under the trees and we are now being attacked by mossies. <laughs> yeah. Little blood suckers. I know. But it looks like bear country. They're after my chocolate donuts. I know it. <laughs> so we're heading up to Soldier Lake. Little change of plans. But um should be beautiful up there and make camp up there for the night. And, uh, yeah, relax a little bit. we blow up our air mattresses around here. That's better. <laughs> Takes about three of these pumps and we're good. Better than us getting dizzy and lightheaded, pumping it up, blowing it up ourselves. Put that back up. Go for another. We got a little breeze this time, so. It doesn't have to make a twirl on this one. No, we don't want any passing out around here. Saturday, July 13th, uh, we made camp here at Soldier Lake last night. It's beautiful. Um, 
we had the tent over here. We are, we'd already taken it down for the for the day. But yeah, it's really a beautiful area. Watching the fish starting to jump this morning on the lake and watching the marmots across the lake. We haven't there's one over there. Yeah. <laughs> we're trying to decide if we're gonna go up over this next ridge right here. It's about two miles to a place called Sky Blue Lake. After talking to someone who just came over New Army Pass, um, it's just there's too much snow. I mean, we we could do it, but we'd be scrambling over rocks with heavy packs and off trail. A lot of and, deep snow and cornices and. And with David's uh, hand just coming out of surgery, there's no way that's going to happen. You can't put pressure on it. <laughs> not using hiking poles. I brought them like a fool, but I'm not using them. So. Well, for water crossings, we still yeah. might. <laughs> Anyway, just wanted to show this beautiful Soldier Lake up here in the Sierra Nevadas. Yeah, it's very beautiful. So that's uh, Soldier Lake. We were camped on the other end. We're kind of around a around a uh, hill from the area we camped. It's really cool. Danielle and I are just there's a small trail that leads up to Sky Blue Lake, which which really isn't here. a trail. We're yeah. kind of off trail now, but a little marshy, <laughs> but uh. Beautiful waterfall. Yeah. Kind of go, we want to go dunk under it. <laughs> Heading up there towards the Major General. Major That's General. further to the crest. Yeah. So far so good. So we're in Mitre Basin, which is above Soldier Lake. I think we'd be north north of Soldier yeah. Lake. Um, on the way to Blue Sky Lake. Probably have to turn around here, but we just wanted to uh, get this view because it's just an amazing place. There's no one around. I mean there's just it's us just and so, the marmot that's right over there. Yeah you know, we're just past the marmot but it's so raw, you know, let's give you a little look at this place. Blue Sky Lake is out there past, past the waterfall and around the corner. Yeah, you can see the water coming down. It's just been a, right down here there's a beautiful river. It just comes down. We've been coming up the whole thing. And we came from up over this. Um, Ridge. There's not really any trails. We've just been um, cross country the whole time. Yeah, kind of scrambling over it, but it shows a trail on Gaia or Jaya, where that is. G -A -I -A. It lies. But <laughs> there's little trail. pieces here and there, but it's kind of cool because there's no one over here. Yeah. But uh, actually, if you look right there, I could see a trail that came from that side. But That's from Rock Creek. Yeah, that if you take that that direction, it takes you to Rock Creek. Yeah. Soldier Lake's over there. Rock Creek's that direction. And then you can hook up to Crabtree Meadows. Gorgeous. One of the benefits of being up in one of these alpine lakes, and we've seen no one, pretty sure there's no one, is when you come across a beautiful stream coming out of a snow melt, but it looks this good and clear and deep. It looks like it's time to take a bath, get clean. So we're gonna check the camera off because it's naked time.
That's another bug net. Bug. <laughs> well, it is another uh, bug <laughs> net. <laughs> yep, it's another bug nut. What the fuck? <laughs> well, it looks like another bug net night. night. <laughs> They're actually on the phone trying to sting it. They're driving me crazy. They're swarming. Last night we were at Soldier Lake. They were pretty annoying, so we had our nets on. So today walking from Soldier Lake towards um, Horseshoe Meadows, we decided before we got to Chicken Springs Lake, we'll just, we're pretty high up. We're 11,400. We're nowhere near water that we know of, thinking it's going to be nice. And we're getting swarmed. Yeah. This is worse than last night. Driving us crazy. So get ready to go in our tent. I don't know if you can see the sky, but it's still a... Uh, still daylight yeah 7 50 at night 10 to 8 and we got camp we already had dinner brushed our teeth everything so uh, I think we're just gonna go in the tent and escape these ridiculous mosquitoes because they're driving us crazy yeah so you'll probably see them oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. I, had to swing. I had to get that one <laughs> we decided it's a little Good too night. early to go to bed and wanted to uh, hike up this hill from our tent, it's great view, but just to check this out, because I thought there was a maybe a lake up here, but there's not. It's just a lot of, almost like, they look petrified, all these pine trees. I was laying over dead, and there's a ton of activity up here. There's tracks, there's bear tracks, a lot of hood tracks, could be buck or bighorn. But pretty amazing views up here. It's getting close to dark, but <clears throat> that's that meadow. I'm not sure. I have to look up. And then over here, past the tree in the distance, that's the Big Whitney Meadow, which is where we passed and went around and up into those mountains. <laughs> going on in our big Agnes. What is this? The tiger it wall? It is a tiger wall. Two. UL2. It's pretty tight. But <laughs> it's You could just nice fit two people light. in it. <laughs> yeah. Sure well, well, it's uh, Sunday, July 14th. Got our camp all packed up. We're back on trail. Heading. From this point, it's only about a mile and a half to Chicken Spring Lake, and we are uh, severely low on water, so no big deal. We got a couple swallows to get us to lake or a stream that's feeding it, and uh, filter some water. And then from there, it's only about what four miles back to the car or something like that. I think it's five. Yeah, five. From the lake, I mean. So, yeah, so we'll check in a little later. But yeah, we're, we camped at 84, no, excuse me, 11,400 feet. Took a bit to get acclimated, but we're all good. Well, here we are at the top of Chicken Spring Lake. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. A little bit of snow. Yeah, it's so pretty out here. We are up on the other side of that ridge. Nah, probably a ways over on the other side. Last night. And then we're going to be going down this side of the lake. And over Cottonwood Pass, which... I believe is just right over there. I think that's it. That way. I think it wasn't that far. Yeah. Chicken spring lake after the pass. But it's a beautiful morning, and uh, yeah, might stop and have a snack, and then we gotta get some more water. Yeah, and get some more water because we have like, I don't know, probably eight ounces between the two of us at most. No, <laughs> maybe probably less. Two. You probably have the same. <laughs> True, but we're, it's all good. As soon as we get down the hill, we're gonna have water. So yeah, we uh, use water for coffee. We use more water for oatmeal, and we boiled snow water. 
for the bidet experience this morning. Yeah, hot nice, water Nice bidet. hot water bidet. <laughs> that was pleasant. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to hit the trail now.